Hello, welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon, the Spoonie Stitcher. You're inside the stitchery, and I'm very happy you're here today. This is part of our beginner mini series. Today, we're going to learn the half double crochet. Today, we are learning the half double crochet. This is one of my favorite stitches because it's a little taller than the single crochet, and it's not quite as gappy as a double crochet can be. So it's a really, really handy stitch. It's one of my favorites. I made so many coasters with just the half double crochet when I was first learning. It's a great stitch. So how do you make it? Well, if you remember from our last lesson, we made these single crochets. So how do we go from the next row? We make a turning chain. So a turning chain for a half double is two chains instead of one. So we're gonna wrap and go through twice. We're just gonna make a chain. We already learned how to make a chain. So right there. And then we're gonna turn. Our first stitch is here. So this is our chain. Our first stitch is right here. That's where we wanna go in. So what we're gonna do is before we go in the stitch, we're gonna wrap the yarn which we haven't done yet. So we're gonna wrap the yarn around and then we're gonna go in the stitch. So you have the V on your hook, the wrapped yarn, and then what was the chain over here? Well, this is the chain, but this is where you finish the chain is right here. The loop you wrapped around is right here and the V stitch that you just went in is right here. You're going to wrap the yarn again so it's going to grab the yarn and go through just the V. You now have three loops on your hook. Then you're going to grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. Make sure you get all three. And that is a half double crochet. Don't worry, we're going to do it again. <laughs> So before we go in the stitch, we're going to wrap our yarn, go in the stitch, like this, wrap the yarn, pull through just the stitch, three loops on our hook, wrap, go through all three. That's our second half double crochet. Don't worry about this bulging right here. It's fine. So let's do that again. Wrap, go through the stitch. Grab, three loops on our hook. Grab, go through all three. See how it's a little bit bulkier than your single crochet right here? It's just a little bit taller and a little bit fuller. It just makes projects go faster. So let's pick up a little speed, not too much, but just a little. So we're gonna wrap our yarn, go through the stitch, grab and pull, three loops on the hook, grab and go through all three. Wrap our yarn, go through the stitch, pull up three loops, go through all three. Wrap, stitch, through, three loops, go through all three. Wrap the yarn, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, go through all three. Okay? I'm just gonna do this real quick. If you wanna pause the video, go ahead, that's fine. I'm just gonna show you what to do at the end. So we have one stitch left. Which stitch is it? Very good question. It's this one. Right there. It's this stitch. This is the turning chain. Ignore that. You still are looking for the V. So we're going to wrap our yarn, go through the stitch, Oop, go through the stitch. There we go. Wrap, pull up three loops, 
go through all three. And then you've made 12 half double crochets, if you are still doing 12. <laughs> and how you count the stitch is the same. It's still the little Vs on top. So that hasn't changed. But now your stitch looks a little different. So down here, it looks like, well, it kind of looks like a pie symbol, actually. <laughs> Here, it's got a bar, a slanted bar, and then a straight up and down bar. So, so a single crochet kind of looks like this. And a half double crochet kind of looks like, I'm not an artist, okay guys? Kind of looks like this. Sort of. <laughs> so if you have this slanted piece, that's how to know. This slanted part right here, that's how you know if it's a half double crochet or a single. Okay. So that is the half double crochet. And then to continue, you just chain two, do exactly what we did before. Turn wrap, go through the stitch, pull up three loops, go through and start again. And there you have it. Always count your stitches. In this case, make sure you always have 12 so that you don't accidentally include the turning chain as one of your stitches because it's not. We ignore the, ignore the turning chain. It's just important so that you can turn. That's why it's called the turning chain. So that's the half double crochet. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Stay tuned for the next stitch. You never know when I will put up a new video, so turn on those notifications, because you never know. Thank you for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Yarn Zebra family. I'd love to have you. Remember, life happens, yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too. Goodbye.